Hello, welcome to another episode of Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. This tutorial aims to solve a problem on volume expansion. This is a problem on thermal expansion. It goes, a spherical steel ball bearing has a diameter of 2.54 cm at 24 degrees Celsius. What is its diameter when its temperature is raised to 110 degrees Celsius? Since it is a spherical steel ball, this tells us that this problem is about volumetric expansion or volume expansion. And we need to solve for the final diameter when the temperature has been raised to 110 degrees Celsius. So we have the formula delta V is equal to the final volume minus the initial volume. And since we need to solve for the final diameter, then we actually need to manipulate this equation so that we will have the final volume, which would then give us the final diameter of the spherical steel ball, is equal to um, initial volume of the sphere plus the change of volume as we increase its temperature. Now, the volume of the sphere is just equal to, so V of sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So, we are going to use this to expand this equation. So, therefore, we will have 4, or Vf would be equal to 4 over 3 pi r final cube is equal to 4 over 3 pi r initial or the initial radius of the sphere plus uh, the change in volume is expressed as beta we have initial volume oops beta multiplied by the initial volume of the sphere multiplied by the change in temperature we can further expand this equation so that we will have 4 over 3 pi r final cube is equal to 4 over 3 pi r initial cube plus our beta is just equal to 3 times the linear um, coefficient of linear expansion which is given in the problem that is 11 times 10 to the power of 6 per celsius so let me just label that as alpha multiplied by vi or the initial volume that is 4 over 3 pi multiplied by the initial radius of the sphere multiplied by the change in temperature. Now if you look at this equation 4 over 3 pi is actually common in all the terms in the equation so meaning we could just cancel it out we could cancel 4 over 3, 3 pi and that gives us a much simpler equation which is rf cube is equal to ri cube plus 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion ri cube multiplied by the change in temperature the problem gives us the diameter of the sphere and also we need to solve for the final diameter of the sphere after it has been heated and we know as well that the radius is just half of the diameter then we could say that our f or the radius final is just equal to the final diameter divided by 2 cube is equal to the initial diameter divided by 2 because that would just be the initial radius cube plus uh, 3 coefficient of linear expansion multiplied by the initial radius again that is just di or the initial diameter divided by 2 cube multiplied by the change in temperature so in this case our change in temperature is um, 110 minus 24 degrees Celsius. That's temperature final minus temperature initial. Then again, looking at this equation, we could cancel 2 since it is common to all the terms in the equation. So we could cancel that out. 
and that leads us to even a simpler equation which is df cube or the final temperature or final diameter cube is equal to the diameter initial cube plus 3 multiplied by the coefficient of linear expansion di cube multiplied by the change in temperature and therefore our final diameter is just equal to the cube root of the other term which is di cube plus 3 multiplied by the coefficient of linear expansion di cube again multiplied by the change in temperature so now we could just plug in our given value so we have our di that is equal to 2.54 or 540 centimeters we have this value here we also have our coefficient of linear expansion over our alpha that's equal to 11 times 10 to the power of negative 6 and also our delta t is just equal to final temperature um, all right our delta t is equal to final temperature minus initial temperature and that is just equal to 110 degrees celsius minus 24 degrees celsius once again we will just have to substitute all of these givens into our final equation which is df is equal to the cube root of di cube plus three uh, plus the quantity of 3 times the linear coefficient times d cubed times the change in temperature and we will be able to solve for df and here df is equal to 2.5424 centimeters and we have solved part a of this problem for part b what temperature change is required to increase its volume by 1.2 percent so basically we need to solve for delta t if the volume has been increased by 1.2 percent so let us set up our equation that's delta v is equal to beta multiplied by the volume initial multiplied by the change in temperature based on the problem the volume is to be increased by 1.2 percent so that is in fact our change in volume so 1.2 percent may be written as 0.012 multiplied by the initial volume so that is our delta v multiplied by beta which is just 3 multiplied by the coefficient of linear expansion alpha which is given in the problem that's 11 point uh, 11 times 10 to the power of negative 6 per celsius multiplied by the change in temperature which is something that we need to solve for part b and oops we forgot the uh, vi so that should be 3 alpha which is a beta multiplied by the initial volume multiplied by the change in temperature we could just then cancel initial volume on each side of the equation so we will have 0 0.012 is equal to 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion 11 times 10 to the power of negative 6 multiplied by the change in temperature which is what we need to solve for and uh, we will be able to solve this mathematically very simply so that would be very easily i mean that would just be 0 0.012 divided by 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion and delta t or the change in temperature is equal to 363.64 degrees celsius and we have solved our problem and that concludes this tutorial. Once again, always remember, physics is easy with Mr. Jesse.